Good evening everybody. I'm here again and this evening as the title says it's are you being pimped for love? Yes guys are you being pimped for love? And the word pimp here we know the historical meaning of it but I'm not going to get into all of that because it's quite detailed and there's seven level, several levels to that and I don't want to get into that right now. What I want to do is use the word pimp as a catalyst for you to understand the severity of the situation you may or may not be in, right? So the word pimp here, as I said, is just a catalyst for you to look at the parallel in which you may or may not be in. And when I say about, you know, are you being pimped for love is because there are several of us and I may refer to female, but this applies to guys as well. But we're so desperate for love, you know, because of very low self-esteem or little or no self-worth. And as a result of that, we accept less than we deserve. And we are being pimped left, right and center. You know, we are looking for love in all the wrong places guys we're looking for love in all the wrong places and whatever this temporary love that we're in whatever the person is using us for you know the pimping us for whatever satisfaction they're getting it's temporary however us we the person who is being pimped is looking for something more long term we're looking for love in all the wrong places we're looking for intimacy, you know, we're looking for all of this. Hi guys, I can see you there as soon as you log on. Just jump in and say hi to me and also let me know where you're joining me from, okay? Hiya, sweetie. So let me get straight to the meat of why I'm here. Are you being pimped for love, right? We all want to be loved. We all want to be loved. And the situation most of us female, and I'm saying us, including myself here, the reason why most of us females find herself or self in these sort of situations is because we seek that intimacy, you know, that affection. Most times when women find themselves in these sort of situation, it's not because you're that good. Trust me, you're not that good. But for the female, the intimacy, the love, the affection which you then present is worth hanging around. It's worth hanging on to the bull crap you give, okay? So don't be deluded that sometimes you're not understood. You're totally understood. And persons can see through whatever you're presenting, but they refuse to see the light because it's easy to accept whatever rubbish you're offering to receive that temporary intimacy or love. Because when you have low self-esteem, little or no self-worth, you will accept just about anything. And this is why, ladies, we need to love ourselves. We need to be confident in who we are. And yes, guys, so I've got all of that for you. We'll come back to that because sometimes a relationship do need a health check. Your relationship does need a health check. So right, guys, so are you being pimped for love? And the first sign to know whether you're being pinked for love, I'll be giving you three as per usual. But the first one is that sense of mis mystery. Yes, the person's maintaining some mystery about them. You know, you've been with this person for a while. You don't know any friends, you don't know any family, you don't know much factual stuff about them. There's just this air of mystery. They turn up to you, they visit, they might even live with you, but you don't know many stuff about them. You don't know a lot about them. They're mysterious. And even though that mystery can be somewhat seductive in a sense, once it starts going on for a very long period of time, you're being pulled along. You are being pulled along, right? So that's the first one. The person is maintaining mystery about themselves. And the second one, guys, is reverse psychology. You're in a relationship and you realize that this person, each time you talk about something, it's been flipped on you. You know, the whole thing about... You're nagging or you're a drama queen. All this, you know, making you think or believe you hear things or not hear things. Playing the reverse psychology on you guys. And sometimes you can see through that, but you refuse to believe that this person is doing this to you because you're so in need and desperate for this love that you so earnestly seek. But guys, so number one was that air of mystery 
And number two is reverse psychology being used on you 24 sevens all the time. You've been manipulated left, right, and center. And sometimes you can see it, but you refuse to accept that this is what's happening to you for whatever little intimacy, affection, and love, temporary love that you may receive during that period of time. And guys, the third one is emotional abuse. Yes, guys, emotional abuse. When you're in a relationship and this person start telling you stuff like, you know, you'll never get better than me. You know, no one's going to put up with your rubbish. You know, there's many, many, many more persons queuing up to be with me. All this psychological stuff that goes on that they put you down and you feel so low. And if your self-esteem and your self-worth is already... Hi there, how are you? If your self-esteem and your self-worth is already low, when persons abuse you emotionally, you're down here. And you start to believe everything they say. And you tend to stay because whatever little they're giving you is worth having than not having anything at all. Alright guys, so are you being pimped for love? Because you're seeking love in all the wrong places. You're accepting less than you deserve. And as a result, you're accepting relationships where, I'm trying to read here, guys, you're accepting an ear of mystery about the person. You don't know anything about this person you're dating or living with. They're using reverse psychology on you and you are being emotionally abused. Yes, guys. Anyway, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, guys. So... Let me try and see if I can read some of... Oops, sorry about that. Yes, guys, so there's several reasons and signs that you can see. Hello, sugar, how are you? There's several reasons. Obviously, I only always give you two or three or four, and I've never really discussed any of the topics that I speak about in its entirety, guys. There's so many depths and level to all the subjects which I bring on here. So once I talk about them, all I'm doing is opening up a conversation to be had. So once you put in the comments, guys, we have a conversation about it and we expound on it a lot more. But... This is just a tip of the iceberg, you know, this is just a tip. There's so many several levels and the three or four examples which I gave cannot really just give a justification to all that's going on or explain the situation in its entirety. But I hope it gives you food for thought. It gives you something to think about. It lets you reflect internally and look at your own relationship and see if there is something that you need to do differently. When was the last time you had a relationship health check? When was the last time you stopped and looked at your relationship to see, is this healthy? Is this relationship serving me? Yes, guys, and we don't tend to do that because more times than not, we're so desperate for this love. And I'm referring here when her low self-esteem self is so low and her Hello, sweetie. Hey, cuz. And our self-worth is little to non-existent, guy. guys. So, obviously, I've used the word pimp here. And as I said, historically, I'm not going to get into that. Because normally, we know when we talk about pimping, it's about the money. On this occasion, we're talking about love. Where love is being traded for the benefit of something. And you're thinking you're in this relationship for something else. And all you've been doing is pimps. Whatever it is you're providing for this person on a temporary basis and all you're requiring, all you're desiring is love. And you're being pimped. You're being manipulated. And when we talk about pimped, we think about the forcing, the physical abuse, you know, where people have been trafficked. No, it goes a lot deeper than that. The mentality, the psychology behind it can really mess you up when you're manipulated to the point where reverse psychology is being used on you daily. Emotional abuse is being used on you daily. You're in a relationship with someone that you know little to nothing about, right? And then one would argue, yes, sweetie, then one would argue, why would you stay? And this is where the manipulation and the reverse psychology gets really in-depth, guys, because... Persons, when they're using you, so-called the pimps, what they do a lot of the times is pretend to be jealous. 
they're not jealous, but they give you a little pretend to be jealous. So you think, oh my word, this person is so in love with me. Da, 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 da. No, they're pretending to be jealous to make you feel as if they care, they love you, there's something going on. And if you're being emotionally abused, when the person does pretend that they're jealous, that makes you feel like, oh, they love me. Oh, oh. No, guys, you've got to be able to see through that. The other thing they do, guys. Yes, there you go, Siri. Absolutely. The other thing they do, guys, is refuse to enjoy your company. And there's many occasions where I've seen persons in a relationship and the other person never spends enough quality time with them. They never enjoy anything they do. They always find a reason to argue about something, to fight to go off and do their own thing. They're always causing a fight, a bickering, because it's easier to be in a fight with you when it suits them than to spend time and enjoy that time with you guys. And we can't afford to do that. So for the ladies and the males who are in relationships where you're being pimped because of the sake of your desire to be loved, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. You need to wake up and realize that you don't know much about this person. You don't know their movements. You don't know their friends. You don't know a lot of factual stuff about them. This person is a mystery. And in the beginning of any relationship, that sort of thing is kind of nice. Once it's not going off for a period of time, guys, you are being used, right? Okay. Emotional abuse, guys, you should not be being put down. No one should be speaking to you in a particular way, making you feel less than nah all right guys obviously like i said there are a lot more intricate levels to the discussion to be had but i am not going to be doing it any justice by staying on here so i will wrap here i will i will definitely be responding to your comments and hopefully we can have a dialogue about it and open it up a lot more so we can elucidate on it and get the conversation going okay and Guys, I would not be going before I tell you about our group. It's the Romantic Relationship. It's here on Facebook. And there I provide a lot of meaty, meaty material. The persons there of they, they offer value, you know, the community, the common unity. The persons who are there, they really offer and support each other. If you feel you could benefit from a group such as this, a common unity such as this, then put group and a question sign in the comments and I will send you the link so you can join us, guys. You know, we're talking about relationships. We're talking about how to have your ideal relationships, guys. But before you embark on any of that, you need to start having a relationship with yourself. Guys, you need to love you. Guys, you need to love you before you can even try to facilitate a relationship and love anybody else. Yes? Yes, guys. So, and that's it. That's it, guys. Because, you know, even about the confidence, about my confidence, I had to work on me. You know, putting myself out here on Facebook in front of you, my friends, my friends, yes? It's not something you do lightly, but when you have a course, when you have a desire to do something, you have to challenge yourself. Nothing grows out of your comfort zone. So me putting myself out here, guys, one of two things could happen. You could either be my friend and you're on here to support me, or you could not like me and you're, you're here to watch, to be critical about my video. But guess what? If you watch my video and you're not a friend, you are a fan. So if you're watching my video with whatever motives you have, the fact that you watch my video, you are a fan. So what's the worst can happen, guys? I either have friends on here or I have fans on here, which either way I benefit. So guys, let not your fear stop you from doing anything you desire. We need to love ourselves. Yes, guys, I'm reading the comments here. Don't think I'm not reading them, but I will certainly reply to you each of you when I get off here because I do believe and acknowledge each person because you've taken the time to spend this time with me you've taken the time to comment I acknowledge and I appreciate each and every one of you whether you are a friend or a fan
In fact, guys, put put in the comments what you are. Are you my friend or are you my fan? Go and put in the comments. Are you my friend or are you my fan? Because you have to be either one. <laughs> so yes, guys, if you're interested in our common unity, please put group question sign and I will add you to our group or common unity where we'll expound, elucidate, look at, we dissect relationship from different angles. Yes, we dissect relationship from different angles and, you know, we learn from each other. Guys, I know a lot, but I don't know everything. So we're all supporting each other, right? Okay, is there anything before I go? Just drop it in the comments. Guys, you know I'm all for the love. So come on, I need some love before I go. Love, 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 love. Come on, guys, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Hi, Sarah, I can see you there. I will definitely reply to you. Hi, Aisha, how are you? Michelle, there's lots of you here at the moment. So if I don't call your name, don't be mad with me. You know, I'll come out and show you some love after. So guys, this is a Friday evening and I won't be taking up much more of your time because I don't really like when the recordings are very long because it's not really nice for the replay viewers. It becomes long and tedious to watch. So let's keep it short and sweet. While you're here, guys, do me the favor so I know hashtag live and for the replay viewers if you made it to the end of the recording hashtag replay and if you're still here which you are that means you have gained some value from this recording it would be absolutely fantastic for you to share that so other people can see receive the value which you just had we're not selfish people around here are we so share that for me so other people can also benefit from the value which you just had. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for the love and the appreciation you have sent me. Thank you for all of you who've inboxed me. As I said, go to, to, to my website, which is www.proteopsychotherapy.com. So that's www.proteopsychotherapy.com. And most of my information is there. And if it's not clarifying all that you need, send me a message. All right, guys, so this is me signing off and I will chat to you in the comments. Bye.